Well, another evening in Lanzarote. Compared to winter, for us, best time to walk is after dinner. It's just like a winter temperature and it's more manageable. Tonight we're a walk, of which we've ran twice. We're going to head up here just to um, catch some views, but then we're going to head over that way to the antennas and hopefully, well we should because it's about 20 to 7 just now, get there for the sunset and then hopefully James will manage to get a few good pictures, won't we James? Yes. So you might not catch that in the video but we are going away up 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 there to these antennas and it's a mighty climb but worth it isn't it James? Oh, it's worth it Definitely very much. Definitely worth it. So what a fantastic night, so as you come out of Femez, down to my left or straight in front of you, you'll see the road possibly. So about an hour and a half ago we were walking along that road to come up to this track. And it's just great when you're looking, or it's just great when you're down there looking up and you're thinking, you're going to be there in about an hour and a bit. And we're here, aren't we baby? Yeah, and it's not been actually too bad. We've got quite a steep climb coming up. Very, it is very steep. And then pretty much it's a track road up to the antennas. Yeah. It is steep, but it's, there's a track. Another beautiful dusk walk. So we're on the steep bit here. And I just took a look back to see the view. I'm just hoping you can get that. It is stunning. Yippee, we are here. We've made it. How was it, Karen? How was it? It was not too bad, to be fair. Um, just a tad, tad windy now, but been pretty good to us all the way up. I'd like to say this is an accommodation for the night but it isn't really. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, it could be. Well, they just never left the key to let us get in. This is so tidy to what it was the very first time we ever came here. And there's a little sort of place for a barbecue I think in there. I don't know if you would want to well camp here. You could. I was going to do that one night here. Because, you know, if you had your um, sleeping bag up there... Yep. That could be a bed. I suppose that would be one there. The more you look at it, the more it's feasible, isn't it? Yep. OK, so that hill over there is Hasha Grande, one of my favourite ones. Love going up that with Karen. Great day out, monster day out doing Hasha Grande. And the villages, or the village over there that you see, is Play Blanca. Play Blanca. But we're not up here for that, we're up here for the last part of the sun going down. Mm-hmm. Which I don't. See we are at the very top of the highest point in Lanzarote that the public can access. And we're watching the sun going down. And we're sitting with our backs to the bricks which have, believe it or not, been heated possibly all day with the sun and there is a heat coming off them. It's not toasty warm, but it's warm, isn't no, it? No, you can feel, no, it's not toasty, you can feel the heat. Aye. And we're shaded from the wind, because it is quite windy out there. Very windy. So after the sun goes down, it'll probably take us, what, half an hour, James, to get back down the hill? I reckon half an hour. And it's quite a, a slippery slope all the way down. Yeah. Although it's the highest point in the Lanzarote, the car isn't at sea level. It's probably, uh, I don't know, maybe 
100 metres above sea level. Then I'll put the number in here somewhere. So play a blanket to your left and just down at the coast down there there's an old derelict hotel. I don't think they've they finished it, did they, Karen? No, they never got it finished. Um, it's, I think it's quite a mystery. And when we walked out past it, James and I, it was just, it looked as if there had been a lot of um, homeless people been in it at one time, wasn't there? Aye, that's right, aye. But it's all um, barricaded round now, so you can't really get into it. But you can see it. Um, but it would have been a grand hotel. And as James says, you know, having a view of the sun going down every night, stunning. But they never finished it? No. Never finished know. it. What happened? Well, there you have it. That's the sun going down in Lanzarote from... Oh, we're coming in the wind. From the antennas at Femez. Oh, it's windy. <laughs> She's windy. It's damn windy up here. But it's all downhill for us. Okay, so I don't know if you can pick that up, but this is the, the trail that takes us from the back of the antennas all the way down to the to the cars parked in the wee village of Femez. Hey darling? Yeah. It's pretty much you know if you were at the antennas you're actually looking right down. It's quite steep, zigzaggy. But it's quite nice that you finish up where the car is. Aye. So it's quite good but it is very steep and really loose stones. You so see you that's the thing, it is loose gravelly stone. Super careful. Super slippery. Oh, we're winding. <laughs> we're barely winding our way down this hill, but it's more the winds either against us or pushing us away. That's us uh, down at the little village of Femez. It's nine o'clock, so it's taking us about 25 minutes away for you. Yeah, which is not bad. Um, and the street lights are on. Yeah, which is unusual for us. Um, been a fantastic end to a Sunday. We've still got a week ahead and we're going to enjoy every single minute of it. Yep, okay, so if you can see us in this fading light, it's uh, from another adventure, it's Astalavego for me. And over and out for me.